quick lab tip. Um, when you're using spin columns such as these for like a mini prep or a PCR purification, it's really important that you are careful when you take the tube in and out. Basically how these columns work is you have conditions where you get the DNA or the RNA um, to bind to this little like membrane thing and then wash everything else out um, and then wash everything else out um, and then elude it. So add something that'll make the DNA or the RNA dissolve off of this membrane. And so I have an example more on how these work in other posts. They're typically like some sort of silica based method um, where you, you're manipulating kind of the pH and the salts and the isopropanol and all that stuff. But when you do this, what happens is that the clean stuff at the end, when you elute it out, it's going to come out of the bottom. And when you go and you're just like kind of carelessly sticking your tube in like that, you side, you bang into the side, well now you're banging it into the waste. So when we're doing all these wash steps and stuff, the gross stuff we don't want is coming out the bottom. Um, and it's not just the gross stuff we're trying to get rid of in terms of contaminating things in the mixture, but in the wash, then you have like ethanol, you have isopropanol, you have these various things that you don't want to be in your final solution. And so if what's happening is that you're pouring this off and then it's like dripping and getting on the edge and then you're taking your tube and you're just like banging it in, now what's gonna happen is that even though the DNA is, or the RNA is clean inside of here, now you're gonna be putting it into that stuff that you don't want. Um, and so I, this is why like when you, for these washed ups, you have like this disposable base fund that you can use, but then when you elude it, you put it in a nice clean tube. But if you have gunk on the outside of your um, concentrator or whatever this is, um, then you are then putting it back in. Um, this is especially important um, when you're doing like a mini prep and stuff like that, where you could potentially have contaminating DNA from the bacteria or whatever. Um, and also remember that when you are pouring it off, um, be careful because if you've labeled this part, um, but not this part, um, then you, and you can mix them up. It's not as big of a deal for the ones that have lids, but for the ones that don't have lids, like the mini prep ones, it can get kind of, um, Using and then if you like, you have to be careful too because we have ethanol and isopropanol and stuff. So sometimes the um, it can like wash the dissolve the sharpie or whatever you put on. Um, they make lab markers that are like resistant to those sort of things, which are helpful. Um, but be careful of that, especially if you like put it in your stuff. Yeah, you, know, you can have like dripping and stuff too. So so be careful of that. Um, and yeah. Also, what's gonna happen is that sometimes you have to put these in a tube with an open lid because you can't like close the lid when it has this inside. Um, this is when you're like eluding it out. Um, and so it's important that you don't want these to snap off. Um, and so when you're putting it in the centrifuge, you wanna like put it in with the bottom in. Um, sometimes you can kind of have to like angle them um, to get things to fit, but make sure you're angling them in the direction that the centrifuge rotor is going to turn in. Um, and also make sure that you have the tubes labeled and not just the lids, um, especially if you're worried that these lids might like snap off and stuff in your centrifuge. Um, yeah, so those are just a couple of quick tips about using these types of columns. Um, our lab, but we have like the all sorts of them. There's different ones for like RNA versus DNA. You have different binding conditions and buffers and pH and stuff. Um, and because the RNA will be destroyed at like a higher pH um, and it'll be more soluble when DNA is not soluble at a low pH and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so we have like all sorts of different kits or like a um, advertisement for Zymo and Kitchen, but I'm really not, um, I'm really not repping their stuff. Uh, it's used a lot in our protocols. Okay, so I hope that helps.